I uh, had the great opportunity to spend a couple of days with Bernard Langer shooting two Golf Channel Academy days, four shows in total, learned such a lot from him. Uh, remarkable how he hits the ball at 57 years of age, probably better now than when he was in his 40s. Now, he gave me three very, very, there we are, Bernard talking to me about it right there. He gave me three very, very meaty nuggets that I think I would take, really have propelled him to even more greatness than he had before. And one was so interesting, talking about the grip. Now, I remember Bernhard many, many years ago when we were both playing the European Tour. He was a good player, but with a very, very strong grip. And that led to him doing things with his legs and such on the downswing to avoid the hook, gave him a bad back. But the thing he did with his coach, Willie Hoffman, he said they changed the grip one-eighth of an inch at a time. You know, every six months they'd move it a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. But the point was, he stuck with it. So if you're making a grip change, number one, stay with it. It won't feel comfortable. You don't have to eat the elephant all at once. You can eat an elephant one bite at a time. But if a grip change is what you need, and Bernhard Langer did, then really stay with it. Now, the second thing that I thought was so interesting, because I do remember in Germany watching Bernard practice many moons ago, and his takeaway used to be with that strong grip, very much around and shut, and he'd drive his legs and finish high, and because he was such a great competitor to get it around. Now, uh, that's not really much use to you at home, but what is much use to you at home is what he's done with it. He's got the grip more neutral and the takeaway a lot more neutral. And one of the things he will do is take a club or an alignment rod, he'll set up and he'll put the club or alignment rod probably just outside his toe line there. And as he will go back, he will constantly check that when the shaft is about parallel to the ground, it's parallel to that club that's on the ground there. The toe of the club is in the air. And for Bernhard Langer, this was a big change. But by golly, when he got that in the slot there, it allowed him to go up, down in the slot, and then turn through it. So I'm going to hit one there. I've got a modified grip, not too strong. I'm going to be very mindful. You'll see Bernhard, if he's practicing, you'll still see him working on, on that takeaway, checking that shaft alignment all the time. Let's see what I've got. And then he came up with one that I've used, a thought that I still use, that I learned from. And here we go. Let's see what we've got. Well, that was almost Langer-like, actually. I think I should go back and watch those shows I taped with him. Too strong, even. OK, now the last thing, and I would say, in fact, I think this is his secret to consistent. This is his super secret. Uh, he's gone from a young man who used to have loads of leg action and would hang back, and if you go back to the, watch video of him in the 70s and the 80s, he looked like that, and now one of his key thoughts, perhaps his key thought is this, as he follows through to take the trail shoulder, for right-handers, of course, it's the right, take the trail shoulder and get it in front of the lead shoulder at the finish, to have the feeling that the right shoulder overtakes the left shoulder. And for me, that's been a wonderful thought. It takes a lot of unnecessary uh, flicking at the bottom out of it. So here we go. Nice grip, shaft angle. But for me, let's see if I can drive that right shoulder, my trail shoulder, like Langer, past my left at the finish. Come on, right shoulder. Do your job. And I certainly felt I drove the right shoulder hard there. There's not going to be much hook in that. <laughs>